Hey everyone, welcome back to the Midwest Stitches channel. My name is Danielle and this is my YouTube channel all about my crafty things, sewing, crocheting, knitting, uh, and whatever else I might get up to. Today we have, um, I guess, oh, I forgot something. <laughs> uh, we have a non-knitting or crocheting finished object that I will show you. And um, a half finished object that I started recently. I'll update you on my other projects. And um, I got just one thing in the mail. So grab your drink or snack or whatever, or you're making, and let's catch up. You can find me on Instagram at midwest.stitches or on my website at midweststitches.com. Uh, and I say, I should say Ravelry, but I haven't been updating it. Um, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> so uh, today is episode 27. Yes, 27, episode 27. It is Saturday, February. 11th <laughs> and yeah I've got some coffee of course um some afternoon coffee I had morning coffee now I have afternoon coffee if you're a coffee lover you know how it goes okay all right let's jump in with finished objects objects <laughs> So my one finished object, which is a non yarn related finished object, I made myself a new purse. So look how little that guy is. Just got a zipper on the back, a buckle and seat belt webbing. So this pattern is the, this pattern is the Louis waist bag by Uh-Oh Creations. And uh, I followed the tutorial on YouTube by Saya Swag. And um, if you are wanting to get into purse making wallets, anything like that, uh, she does a lot of tutorials. She's just one of many, but um, I liked her um, tutorial for this. <laughs> so, um, this is just a zip top. This is the small version. It comes with two. Um, so here's the inside. Doesn't hold a whole lot. I have my wallet and a chapstick and I used this, um, water resistant canvas. This is, um, a vinyl that I got both of these from Mormino, uh, dot com. She also has a YouTube channel where she um, does tutorials for project bags. And I made a modification in the pattern. I did add a pocket to this front panel, a zipper pocket, because I needed more, a little bit more storage. So there's that. I just kind of winged that. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't perfect, but it does the job. So, um, yeah, I loved I loved this pattern because it's real. It's got a really wide opening, um, and I don't carry a lot besides like my wallet, my phone, and a couple of like hairpins, Tylenol, you know, just some essentials when I um, have my purse. So um, I wear it. I wear it like this, you know, the typical style um, sling bag. So. Um, yeah, loving this. It's, uh, I, I like it better than the one I had before. It's just a little bit smaller. I just like a small purse. I'm just that gal. So, um, I also made to go with this, this little, uh, card wallet. And this is out of some cork fabric that I had. And I just have some gift cards in here. That I'm hanging on to let me take them out so it actually has if you can see up oh, there you go it's got a slot here it's got three there you go Let's 
see that? And this is a free pattern. Oh, I cannot remember the name. Um, oh shoot. Yeah, I, I don't remember the name. Um, I'll try to link it down below if I remember. <laughs> um, but it's a free pattern and it uses so few scraps. And um, so if you have pieces of vinyl or um, anything that won't fray, so like the cork, you know, cause you leave these edges all raw, they're not finished. Um, that's the only requirement is that whatever material you're using won't fray. But I wanted something to just hold, you know, gift cards separately from my wallet so that I knew where they were. And I love this. So, and it takes like, I don't know, like less than five minutes to sew. And it, it cuts out super, it's just amazing. I might make more of these for other things. Like if you, um, you want something special to hold like, uh, your insurance, medical card, dental card, whatever. Um, yeah. The only thing I don't like, you can hear it jingling. This metal buckle I bought, it is so noisy <laughs> and it sounds like that all the time. And it's in there. Like I have it hooked in there, but it's so noisy. Um, I don't know if all the metal buckles are like that, but I would buy, I would probably do plastic next time. The metal looks cool, but if they're all loud like that, mm, I don't know. So anyway, that's my new purse and I love it so much. So there we go. Okay. On to works in progress. So I have a finished sock that I hadn't even started the last time. You saw the yarn. This was from Granite State Yarns. This was her uh, Be Mine sock set, 50 gram sock set that I bought from her. And here is the sock. So as you can see, I just did a shorty version. And for this, I did, this is on two millimeter needles. I did eight rounds for the cuff here, five rounds for the leg, started the heel flap on the fifth round. And I decided to do two by two ribbing right after the gusset decreases. Um, just as kind of a little experiment to see if that would help help it feel a little tighter on my foot. Um, I think for the second one, I'm going to do um, a slip stitch pattern all the way around, uh, which I have, I have on a pattern, uh, the every, I think it's the everyday sock and I cannot pronounce her name. Her name's Rachel something. <laughs> um, but I have that pattern and I've tried to do it and I don't like it. It's just, I don't know. Anyway, besides the point, um, but she has a slip stitch detail in the pattern that you do for the arch of your foot as kind of uh, like the sport um, socks that you can get at the store that have a, the support on the arch of the foot. So I thought I would try that and see how that works um, and just compare the two. Um, I really love this fit. Uh, this hits like right below my ankle bone. So I had talked about that in other episodes. Um, how I was kind of looking for that pattern and this used, um, I have it written down. <laughs> this used 22.7 grams of yarn. And I, th I would imagine without the two by two rib in the middle, it probably would have used around 20 if I'm guessing, because Ribbing uses more, as we all know, uh, more yarn. So um, yes, I'm very pleased with these. I think this sock set is just gorgeous. Um, so I'm excited because if, um, and I did try it on, it fits really well. And so I'm excited to wear these. Um, you know, I love short socks. And if, if, um, depending on how much yarn the second one uses with the slip stitch pattern here, that will tell me, okay, if I have a 50 gram or I want to use just half a cake of yarn for socks, um, I should be able to do that pretty, pretty good. And then if I have some, cause I have a bunch of 20 gram minis that I, I don't know how I want to use them. Um, I could mix and match, you know, 
with this part and so it's just a fun um, experiment and hoping to knit a lot more of these so yeah really excited about that this took me about I don't know three days and I think there was one day that I didn't even work on it um because I had had a headache that day so I didn't do <laughs> any making stuff at all so um yeah I'm I've uh I've started the second one and I'm holding it in this bag that I showed the, I think the last time or the time before, which I think it just matches so well. So there's my cakes of yarn and I have it, um, the main skein on this yarn cozy that I made. If you got the Daisy Stitch Co sock set box for February, you would have received one of these if you got the full one. So I have started it this morning and I'm about three, I think maybe four rounds into the cuff. So I'm gonna work on these uh, obviously later today and this weekend and who knows how far I'll be by the time um, the weekend's <laughs> finished. Um, so loving that, you know, I love Lauren's yarn. So super pleased with how those are working out. And that will tell me um, when I get this one done how which one I which fit I like um, so that I can do the two at a time socks that I uh, showed that I was going to start with the February yarnable colorway from last year which was raspberry cream um, and it's in that bag right there um, so when I finish this second sock those are the ones I'm going to cast on next and I'm going to do them two at a time probably short socks so all right so <laughs> let's chat about some crochet. I have gotten quite a bit done since the last time on my crochet granny shawl. It's in this hocus pocus bag. So, oh, just pulled out a stitch, hold on. Every time, I'm never prepared for this. Ah, no. Okay. So for this project, I am using a Clover 2.75 millimeter hook. And where's my marker? Okay, I'll just show it to you and then I'll show you the progress. So here, it's getting bigger. And here's, I changed out markers because that little witch's boot was uh, snagging. So here's where we were last time. And so I've gotten this many, this much done. I can't show this very well. Oh, I'm holding it the wrong way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, take two. <laughs> okay, so this is how much I've gotten done from the marker here to the top so that much progress so it's pretty good I've been pretty good about sticking to the um, one pass a day um, I think there was a couple days that I didn't but you know no big deal uh, so that's actually helping it to grow quite a bit and I'm pleased with that if that's done by October by Halloween I will be perfectly happy <laughs> Um, okay, so let's show you my other crochet project. This is in a large snap bag from my Christmas collection last year that I made for myself. And I love this thing. It's so huge and the snaps, it just keeps everything wide open. So <laughs> I should be on the second or third color, I think, but I'm only just now finishing the starting the second color <laughs> so this is a crochet rectangle granny rectangle blanket that i am making with my granite state yarns advent calendar so i've started the second color and it is a bright yellow so just working away on that it has grown quite a bit um 
And this, I just finished this color, the first color yesterday. So this gives me a good frame of reference for how much one color will take. So these are 20 gram minis. So there's that. And I, I know I talked in the last episode how I wanted to do one color a week and have it potentially done by June or July sometime. Um, I am changing that goal. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm changing that goal to um, ha just having it done by the end of the year. That's my goal. Um, if I can get it done by even, let's say, Christmas of this year, I will feel good about that. So, and the only, the reason I'm doing that is because with how long it took me to do the first color, um, and that was working on it a little bit each day. Um, and it's such a, you know, a small gauge and all that kind of stuff. It does take longer to work up. So, you know, I was thinking of other things that I want to work on. You know, I have some gift socks that I'm going to start early this year for people that I want to do. Um, I want to maybe start a timelines tee, which I showed that pattern a while back. Uh, so you know, and then of course stuff for the shop. So trying to just be realistic with, um, you know, my goals and, and how I proceed with projects. So, but still working on it every day, giving it a little bit. So I've been, you know, I do, I have my, my goal of one, one pass on this every day or one, one row, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it, but, and then just trying to work through, you know, a little bit on this each day to work through the colors. So, doing that, I feel good. You know, they're getting progress and I don't have like a time limit, like 30 minutes that I do of each day. I just do like a little bit, you know, and when I want to stop, then I stop. <laughs> um, so there's that. And my last work in progress that I have is my cowl. So this has gotten, I think I've gotten quite a bit done since the last time. I don't remember. I don't have it marked where I was, but, um, it's, we're trucking along. So here is where we're at so far and then there's that side such pretty colors i think this will be very fun to wear and it will go with any season so fall winter you know even in the spring if it's a chilly i want to wear it it's not so much um stuck with the season and that's kind of what i was looking for so there's that. Um, I, <laughs> so this project, um, I was kind of thinking, oh, okay, maybe I could have it done before the end of spring. And, um, that may still happen depending on, you know, how quickly I can work through this. And I'm not, I haven't been working on this every day. I'll be honest. Um, cause sometimes I just don't feel like it. <laughs> so if, this is another one of those things. If I can get this done by the fall, by the time, you know, um, I would say like October rolls around, I will feel okay with that. Um, just so that I have it. Cause I know it won't be done for the cold weather this year and that's okay. So if I have it done for the cold weather next year, I will feel good about that. So I'm thinking of these three projects. They are my long term projects that I'm focusing on right now. Um, because, you know, I do have, I, I like the quick, um, quicker finishes, like, you know, a pair of socks or a sock or what have you that, you know, it gives you those, um, good finished feelings. So those are what I'm concentrating on. Okay. So that's it for works in progress, finished objects, all that kind of stuff. I, um, did get one thing in the mail and I think I talked about this the last time, but it, it took a little bit to get here. So I got my, um, it's called the romance mini set, mini skein set from Daisy stitch co. So it has all of these fun, uh, purpley pinky Valentine's colors. Um, I don't know what these are. <laughs> um, I mean, it has the colors on the back, but I don't know which ones are which. Um, there's Karma, Stone, Antique, Lilac, and Blush Pink. So these are on her 75-25 base. 
and um, yeah, I think depending on, you know, this won't be anytime soon, but these would make really fun uh, socks for shorties, you know, just mixing and matching. So that's what I plan on doing with those. So there's that, and that's my only mail. And, uh, okay, so shop stuff. The pre-order for the spring collection for the Lucky Leprechaun and the Spring on the Farm bags, that did close. Thank you to everyone who put in an order for that. I am currently working on those. Uh, my table here and here. <laughs> um, I've got the pieces cut out, so I'm working on those. That'll be, um, you know, what I work on this weekend and next week. And um, I should have those out to you before the end of the month. Fingers crossed. Um, so there's that. And the next pre-order for uh, Summer Stock Camp will be mid-April. I don't have an exact date yet, but I will update you when I um, nail that down. And um, I did want to say um, in March, the beginning of March, um, I am going to have a sale on some of the project bags that are in stock in my shop and I will obviously let you know which ones those are when that time comes. That'll be for the whole month of March <clears throat> since I don't have anything planned for uh, release. The other thing is I am going to be putting these in the shop today and these are those yarn cozies I showed. The one that I was using that I kept. So these are, I'm going to call these Vintage Rose, Vintage Rose Yarn Cozy. And these are what I had left. These um, were the scraps that I had left over from the wholesale order I did for, for Daisy Stitch Co. So I sewed these up and I'm going to put these in the shop. So if you're wanting one, these are, I mean, you know, they're rose themes, so Valentine's, February, but um, I think these would be cute to use all year long. So that's really the only thing that's going to be new. Um, I think I have about 16 or 17 of those. So um, not a whole lot, but okay. Uh, so that's going to, that's going to be it for today. That's all I have to show you and update you on. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and um, yeah, click the like subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, tell me what you're working on uh, this month, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. God bless, guys. Bye.